The science tells us that 2050 is the date by which we need to be economy-wide carbon neutral and globally carbon neutral. In North America, Brookfield is speeding that timeline up 15 years. Well, so Brookfield Properties globally is targeting a 2030 reduction of uh, emissions by 50% relative to 2019 baseline. And I think that we're actually going to end up accelerating our progress even relative to that 2030 milestone. Being the largest landlord, um, it's, it's a double-edged sword. Uh, we want case studies, we want to demo things. Uh, we want to understand how it impacts LA and our neighbors. So I think California Market Center is a really interesting case study. That's a building that was under maintained. It really gave a blank canvas for the Brookfield team to come in and show what they could do. The goal was create value with a sustainable development and create an environment that would tie downtown LA with the fashion district. And we thought those were complementary goals. So I think there are probably three things happening in downtown LA that are particularly interesting. One is this uh, continued expansion of the LED retrofits project. So I know it's, it seems so simple, but it's also something that's so often overlooked. And, and you usually have a project payback that's in like the less than one year range. Um, second is you know, the types of projects like what we've done at Bank of America, where you know there's water harvesting and groundwater recapture so you know for that specific project i know we've we capture something on order of like 500,000 gallons per year we had water infiltrating the bank of america plaza the lowest level and we thought you know uh, in particular shane eaton our chief engineer and dave thompson the general manager let's capture the water and use it uh, for cooling tower makeup and fountain maker. The last one I would add in there is this uh, aspect of a demand response program. So the demand response program is basically a curtailment program for anyone willing to participate. They don't have a lot of landlords participating. So if we do it as a portfolio, I think that sends a message. You know. And as we add more and more loads to the grid, as we look to electrify buildings, as more and more people are buying electric vehicles, we have to find ways to manage the demand. So when a gigantic property owner like Brookfield does it, that's massive help. They're not just stopping there, they're working with their utilities and other suppliers to get past their scope one and scope two and all the way into scope three emissions. You know, we as owners and managers of one of the world's largest real estate portfolios do believe that we have um, ample opportunity to, to be able to have a, a massive impact.